Hey guys, Gamma Queen here, and today I'm spending this rainy afternoon, sort of, um, it's been a while, so I wanted to do a little bit of a speed build, and this time we're building a nice beach house, because, you know, the weather is kind of crappy. Um, we've had some storms over here for quite a few days, it's kind of unusual for where I live, so, um... Just thought I'd spend the morning just looking at this beautiful beach house I made uh, a month or two ago in my game and just haven't gone around. I've been really enjoying playing the game and playing my legacy family and just having a lot of fun with it. Um, really anticipating the new expansion pack coming out, so um, I might do something with that when that comes out. But um, for now, this is quite an interesting build. My sort of idea. For this was a nice beach house that sort of looks like it's on stilts. It's uh, meant to look a little bit, um, have multiple levels. Um, it also has a home studio. I've left it blank in this. Um, I did do something with it for my own Sim Self family. Uh, something that I've always wanted just uh, personally that I wanted to put in there but um, for you guys you can download this it's on the gallery and um, that portion of the house is left open and free to do whatever you want to it um, it's quite um, nice so it's the whole bottom level is completely empty so do what you want with it. Uh, right now, I'm figuring out what to do with this space. I wanted to put a bathroom there, but I thought, oh, do I want a bathroom and another closet area or something like that? Um, I do end up figuring out, and I think it qu looks quite nice. So this front room is an office study. I wanted something for my sim self's husband, my... Uh, <laughs> Well, my husband sims himself, <laughs> really. Um, he's a writer, so I wanted him to have his dream office. So figuring out the layout was probably really the challenging part of this first level. Um, the ground level was pretty easy to figure out. So and this is the living area. So you'd have your business downstairs, and you would can go upstairs, and that's where you'd live. And there's another level on top of that as well. So lots of staircases. There's a nice hidden secret room that we'll get to near the end. It's the last thing I do. But it was just really nice to get to Windenburg, find that beautiful beach lot that they have. I love Windenburg. They did such a good job. And um, it's quite a beautiful area and on the island, you know, you got to build a beach house, right? So that was sort of where I was going with this and some nice white posts and, you know, you got two balconies to, you know, do your yoga on. That's what I added as well. I like the outcropping of the deck too. So I thought it provided a nice overhang where you can put some maybe potted plants and have a little bit of a driveway. Um, so we've kind of skipped ahead. I planned out the roof and everything, um, or sort of initially started that. Um, I hate doing roofs. It's the worst. <laughs> and it takes me quite a long time to do. Still trying to figure out that first room, what to do with it. Um, and uh, planning out the top roof and the top level there as well making sure it looks good from the outside. So, um, ooh, someone's pulling up in my driveway. Um, anyway, <laughs> I thought about adding a separate entrance that maybe um, my husband would have, you know, people coming over to visit him or something, and um, they'd be able to enter through that, sort of, you know, have two businesses maybe in the whole house, but in the end, I think i just get rid of it. Um, and do something different. A uh, nice blue uh, siding that I liked to add there. Um, and then I contrasted it with a nice brick in the front, I believe, <laughs> if I remember correctly. I did do this a month ago, so um, it took me quite a long time. Again, I'm not the best builder. I haven't built a lot, but it's something I really like doing and have gotten into with The Sims 4. Um, I never really was into building, um, maybe a little bit in the first game, 
I really liked, uh, I even made floor plans when I was playing that game. Oh, it just, <laughs> it was so much fun. Um, and this, I, I really enjoyed what they did with the game and um, the mechanics of building is a lot better. There's still a couple things that I'd like to see changed, but I made it a little simpler to do, but trying to fit a nice front door there, um, and that one just fits so perfectly, so I wanted to go with the whole kind of almost shabby chic, but a little bit um, still nice, sort of beachy, lots of creams and neutral tones. So I've planned most of the walls now. I'm still trying to figure out that <laughs> corridor. <laughs> um, it was because uh, I wanted to make a nice room for the kitchen area, so I got a nice brick backsplash there. And I've made it into a nice little sort of mini hallway. So then you'd go into the office from there. And planning out the counters. Counter selections are very limited. <laughs> so I think the kitchen is probably the worst um, room for me to build. That and... No, bathrooms are okay. Um, I mean, bathrooms are so simple anyway. So kitchens, I would love to see some more kitchen options as well as bedroom choices. I attempted to do sort of a curved counter to maybe do it as the dining room table, but so that doesn't look too bad, but it was just too, it was too much. It was too big. So we just go with a simple um, counter island arrangement here. I love open concept kitchens to the living room, so that is also what we do here. Planning some garbage and dishwasher, all your kitchen essentials. And uh, skip forward a little bit, so I did plan the rest of the kitchen and the cabinets. It took me way too long and it was just too much, too much to film, so... Um, you'll like it in the end, it's really cool. I'm really pleased with how it turned out and I wanted to spend some time planning out my husband's lovely office area. He's always wanted sort of, you know, the dark mahogany bookshelves and um, stuff like that. Um, so we went with really dark uh, furniture, some nice drapery, and he really likes that old antique sort of look. So that is what we're doing here and trying to go through and try to find all the sort of writing items that I could find um, that sort of went with the theme of the room. So yeah, finding a nice rug that would sort of match and look nice. And then we've got our little entry powder room, um, but we fit a shower in there so it's, it's a full three-piece bathroom. Just for, you know, your quick, quick out of the door <laughs> emergencies. Oh, I better go pee before I leave. So, um, we're now focusing on the upstairs master bedroom. And I wanted to create a nice, uh, seating area, you know, changing place, you know, with a couple chairs, something really nice to, um, something I've always wanted in my bedroom. So of course this is my dream house. So I'm like, I'm going to go all out on this bedroom and I'm going to make it the way that I would love to have a bedroom like this. And then with the view from the windows and access to a nice balcony patio, oh, be awesome. And this is the upstairs. So you got the height and just lots of room to grow. And, um, they are two spare bedrooms up here. So it's three bedrooms and three bathrooms. No, there's four actually. Um, one bathroom is in the ground floor uh, studio. Um, but uh, so there's two spare bedrooms. I made them pink and blue and I left them like that. It'll be like that uh, in the gallery. Let me know if you want me to upload the um, the altered version, the one that I am playing with with my family, you know, the one with my bridal studio and um, a couple added things that I added once I started playing the game and testing things out. So a couple things have changed. So let me know if you want me to upload that version as well, just so you have both. But for now, it will just be the um, plain, you know, easy to customize for your own sim and their needs. So. This is our nice master bathroom with double sinks, 
trying to figure out the right placement for the shower. Um, trying to get that. I, I try to t put my shower so the heads are actually against the wall. Otherwise, to me, it just doesn't make sense. So they always have to go sort of in the same place. So I'm trying to figure out that right now. See how the shower head is now on the wall side. Try to do that. It adds some realism to um, the... Uh, placement of objects and stuff. So, um, trying to figure out what to put in this hallway was interesting. Um, hallways are always so, you gotta fill it with knickknacks or some kind of seating and lighting and plants and stuff. So, chose this nice, um, side console thing. I quite like it. Um, I forget which pack it came in. Oh, probably Dine Out. Put a nice statue, some plants, uh, and a mirror. Looks quite nice with the lit up mirror. Um, nice chair. Don't know what you'd use that chair for, I guess, if you're, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. It may not have a, a function, but it just looks nice. So that's the front entrance, and we're doing a little bit of some terrain painting there, adding some rocks and different shrubberies. I wanted to fill up underneath the staircase there so there wasn't a big, you know, gap. Um, I did uh, change this a little bit in my version. Um, I added a nice uh, hot tub area with a privacy screen just to give it something else. Um, there's no room on the lot for a pool, really, so I added a nice hot tub, you know, added some water aspect to to the backyard, a nice patio set and barbecue, um, oh, and a nice fire pit as well. I thought there was a different version, but it turns out there's only the two, the one that came with the outdoor, outdoor life um, camping set there. So that I thought was kind of cool. You can... It's like a beach campfire that you can hang out on. And I am switching around. There we go. Yeah, that looks like a nice backyard to hang up in. I quite like the, the first patio balcony. Um, I thought that would be really cool for entertaining. Just kind of hang out with friends. It's got the bar and the little outdoor patio set. Um, quite cool. So you just saw a little bit of the plain uh, ground floor ready to make into, I don't know, a gym, art studio, whatever you really want. And something I've always wanted in my house, and my husband too, is a downstairs theater room. So that is what we're doing for our secret, secret, secret room, where you can hang out with friends. Can you imagine having this in your house? I know I've seen mansions with them. And, um, so this is the basement level. Um, started really with rich reds. I uh, gave it that nice theater look. My husband grew up in a theater um, that his family owned, uh, so throughout his childhood he got to watch movies and hang out in this beautiful old um, renovated 1900s. I can't remember the exact year, but it was quite nice, and uh, that's why he loves movies and writing. So. Uh, if we were ever to make it big <laughs> and had the, the money, we would totally have this in our house. Trying to figure out the placement for... I want a nice back bar so you could, you know, serve drinks to your friends and, you know, just do some... making some popcorn, that sort of thing. Kind of made it like a concession stand, so I added the popcorn maker, of course. Gotta have the... <laughs> first I added the ice cream instead. <laughs> Oops, they look so similar. Um, so that's your condiments, you know, you could, I don't know, ketchup, I don't know if you make hot dogs, I guess, you can do that. <laughs> so that's, so that's what I added there, salt and pepper, you know, deck out your, and I added, I love adding columns now to rooms, I think it adds a lot of character to the room, it just adds a little bit more, uh, and gotta add the curtains, and these curtains I love to use, um, they're the most functional out of all the other curtains I think they look really natural and uh, I like how they're just one panel and you can mix and match them and play around with them they look really nice um, definitely recommend that pack I think it was the Lux pack no no movie stuff yeah that's right I also love that pack I used a lot of stuff from that in this uh, movie room of course 
So I thought it'd be kind of fun to put a statue that's like a butler and add it to the antiqueness of the room. But I thought I'd add this because it kind of looks like an Oscar, the bodybuilding trophy. I thought that was quite cute. <laughs> so it fits perfectly on there. It's like, hello, I'm your Oscar. You won Best Picture. So, um, you know, complete with some movie posters. Um, I added these nice columns. And there you pretty much have it. Here's the front view of the house with the nice beach view, the back balconies and added tub, hot tub. Um, this is our living room and our kitchen and dining room. My Sim enjoying a nice drink on the patio that I love so much. Our nice master bedroom. And uh, I believe this is the spare bathroom. And Ryan writing away in his new office, my uh, dressmaking studio, and the front bridal boutique, and followed with the nice uh, theater room with an added bathroom now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I did show my husband the house and recorded his reaction, so that will be probably the next video. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video, and happy simming!